case you haven't noticed, we've been reassessed. Back on the 4th of July weekend, we all got that in the mail about our reassessment. Some went up, some went down. But the ones that went up, there just seems to be it's a bit on the unfair side. So says a group called Indiana County PA Against Tax Reassessment. Tammy Graham Curry. Tammy, I assume that what you did, you opened your reassessment and said, this ain't right. Oh, And thought, I got to do something (laughs) about this. And you started this grassroots organization, which has grown leaps and bounds since we spoke last six weeks ago or so. Yeah. And uh, here we are. I'm not sure what kind of progress is being made, but that's why you guys are here. Also, uh, Mike Cease is here from Buffington Township. We're going to hear from Mike in a moment. But Tammy, where have you gone in the past six weeks with this group? Well, the numbers have risen. We know that. We, we're finding more and more people that are jumping on board for the right reason. We have w- ones that are on there for the wrong reason. We know this. But the numbers are climbing. The stories are just as bad now as they were in the beginning, and some are even worse. So that's where we are. We we're, we're keep doing our rallies. We keep presenting the commissioners with these stories and solutions, but we've gotten nowhere with that. So, Well, there are thousands of uh, Indiana County residents who saw a minimal increase or had a decrease in all, the kind of like, like the silent majority or a silent right. group of people. Are you hearing from any of them? We're hearing from some of them. We have a lot of them that are actually backing us in this because they know what future catastrophic impact this is going to have if if it goes further. However, we've never been given the numbers. We want to know what one-third went down, what one-third stayed the same, and what went up. We can't get those numbers anywhere. We've been told, well, it's been on the the Channel 11 news that only 5% of Indiana County is unhappy with their tax reassessment increase. But that's wrong. It's wrong judging by how many people we have jumping on board and coming to rallies. So, Well, I wanted to play devil's advocate for a moment because we're right across the street from the courthouse and I have seen some of the gatherings there. Now, Saturday, it was kind of an impromptu this past Saturday. Right. Uh, and you had, what, 40, 50? At yeah, least 40 one, or 50. Uh, thereabouts. And I've seen that the day you got to the courthouse, there was maybe three to 400 there. Right. And when you look at 88,000 in Indiana County, for somebody just looking in now, does that say, eh, it's not that many, maybe it's not that bad? Well, the problem we have with rallies is our timing. People work. They have to work to pay their mm-hmm. taxes, so they can't come to them. If we do evening rallies, we did the S&T Arena. There was 1,300 people right. that showed up there. That was great. We have one this coming Thursday at the KCAC in conjunction with the Clean and Green meeting, and we we suspect that that will be quite busy that's at 6 p.m. That is at 6 p.m. We start at 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. The meeting starts at 7.30. That's at the KCAC on Thursday. Right. Mike Cease is here from Buffington Township. Mike, good morning. Good morning. Hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, you want to meet with the commissioners. You personally want to meet with them. Mm, yes, sir, I do. Uh, me as a taxpayer, I've come up with a, a cost-effective means for both parties, fair to both parties, both the county itself and our t- taxpayers. Um, I'd like to run this by as a procedure. I've been dealing with Tammy and having all these meetings, and I've yet to come up with people that will attempt to come up with a procedure um, to help both parties. Um, I contacted Senator White last week to try to get an appointment to talk to him about this issue, and I have got no response from him yet as of now. my only other way is to get in front of the county commissioners through Tammy and our association and try to run some of these numbers by them to change our fair market value to a fair market value. The, pri- the uh, primary objectives of this county to me is incoming taxes must remain cost neutral, reduce millage to a county's acceptable rate, which they gave us in our new assessment papers. I'm using the numbers that they have from that assessment assessment company because we paid them. We might as well use them. Mm -hmm. Uh, So you would like to sit down with the three commissioners and say, here is a proposal. Yes, sir. I have it written on. I'd like to introduce a process using data collected by this, the assessment company and mail to us in our reassessment change notice be reviewed by our elected Indiana County officials. This process attempts to satisfy all three primary objectives and be fair to both the county and Indiana County taxpayers. And you feel that they may be receptive to this? Yes, sir. I've dealt with them enough that they will be receptive. I'm hoping it's in a very timely manner. 
Now, have you gotten a response from the commissioners? Sir, I have not tried to approach them yet. I started with Senator White, and I have not heard back from him, so this is the next step. I got with Tammy, and she invited me this morning. And we'll be walking across the street when we're done here. That's convenient. We're right here. (laughs) Right across the street. Well, as as far as the commissioners go, we know Mike Baker had the open letter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Against it. Uh, Rod Ruddick and Patty Ivanko are taking a lot of heat Mm -hmm. over this. Um, Again, devil's advocate. What I think Commissioner Ruddick is saying is let's let this thing run its course and then we can decide what we want to do. Why don't you think that's going to work? I don't think it's going to work because of all the agony it's putting people through. I don't think it's going to work because ultimately we're going to go through the formal appeals. Nothing's happening. They're not getting any results back till November. Then you have to go to the court, but the appeals court with this one too. It's just, it's not a good solution. It's not. It has been rescinded in other counties. It needs to be rescinded here. We need to start, we need to utilize our own tax assessment employees. We need to utilize them. We need to utilize realtors and appraisers from our area that know fair market value. And we need to hire some citizens who have been out of work and get them on board with this and help with this too. Instead of paying retired people on a pension, $130 a day to sit on an appeals board, Use that to fix this. That's not mm-hmm. fixing it. People are walking away very upset. I think one of the things uh, we always, our Chamber of Commerce and everybody says, you know, buy locally. Yet when they do this process, they went out of the community mm-hmm. to have people come in who didn't know where Trade City was from Buffington Township. Exactly. You know? and, uh, and that is a tough, it, it's not an easy job. Assessment is not an easy job because mm-hmm. you don't know the area and you're standing looking at property and, and you can only... You have information, and you make a, a guess. And basically, that's what's happened, a guess. You say people are uh, having a hard time with this, and I, I know mainly uh, the elderly. Yes. They are really having a hard time with this because they don't have the wherewithal. They don't know how to do the computers, some of them, mm-hmm. right. some of these folks. So they have to pay to get a, get somebody or an attorney or something. So it's expensive. It is very expensive. It's very costly. You, uh, A lot of people need an appraisal. I just had a friend have his done the other day. He paid a total bill of $1,350 just for the appraisal of their farm. But they're making taxpayers pay their money right. to do that. And we're paying our money to, to fight this. And they want four copies of this and, and printing costs and photography and, and everything else. But just the whole mental duress that people are under yeah. with, that, with this, it's just, it's, it's sad. It's Guilty sad. until proven guilt, uh, innocent exactly. is what it is. And exactly. It's, yeah. And I call their... <laughs> You know, when I listen to the stories, I've now come to call them victim impact statements, like you would give to a judge mm-hmm. at a murder trial, because really, seriously, it is the slow murder of this county if something's not done. If I, if I may interject, sure. um, I came up with a process that I want to bring in front of our county commissioners, and I would just like to lay this out to all of my constituents and my fellow taxpayers to come up with a fair market value. Look at your property assessment that we got in the mail. Using the old reassessment change notice, take the old 2015 tax total. Oh, I just want to, I apologize. That's all right. I need you to do first, reduce the millage. I need you to use the reassessment change notice, take the new reassessed value, divide it by the 2016 proposed taxes. This will identify the millage slash multiplier that the county have has deemed an acceptable rate Using the reassessment change, take the old 2015 tax total and multiply it by the new reduced millage, the number that you just found. This will give you a new assessed value, fair market value of your property, in my opinion. And this is what this is one part of this uh, procedure that I want to take in front of our county commissioners. Now, do you feel that you have eyes on the big picture? I've been in front of approximately 30 people Mm -hmm. uh, that I've run this by, and it has worked every time. As far as they're happy, I believe our county commissioners will be acceptable to it because we're using the numbers from the company in which they hired. So that kind of saves face because everyone's kind of trying to get it thrown out, and I just don't see that happening. Now, I think it's fair to say that most people listening and in this situation they don't know how to do what you just said. Right. That's... You know, they've opened that letter and saw that new number and went, oh, my gosh, how are we going to do this? Mm-hmm. So they're not able to do this and mm-hmm. because it's it's a little complicated thing. And, Tammy, I'm sure you can say a year ago, 
life was good. Uh, you didn't know anything about this stuff. Exactly. And I'll tell you, I want to thank Mike, and I want to thank the many, many researchers we have in our group. They're, they've just been wonderful. They're coming up with things, and, and quite frankly, not to be nasty about it, but our group is coming up with things that the county should have come up with. We're researching more than the county is researching, with the exception of one person, Commissioner Mike Baker. He has been investigating. He has been researching. He has been listening. And for that, we commend him highly. Now we want Commissioner Ruddick and Commissioner Ivanko to listen. I am privy to Commissioner Ruddick's statement that's going to come out today, that he is not going to stop the process, that he's actually going to add some extra consultants and expertise to the project, which, what does that tell me? More money spent on this particular problem. It's not fixing it. It's extending it. And he said about extending the deadline past November 15th. You can't possibly do that. You can't possibly do that because the tax notices have to go out. If I may interject, sure. the county seems to be forcing us as taxpayers to prove our properties are faulty. Mm -hmm. They're giving us a very high number and telling us to try to drive it down. That's very hard to do when we have every person I know in this county has great pride in what they have. They keep their lawns mowed. They keep it. The nicer we made it look, the more they tax us. The more we're punished. <laughs> That's, it doesn't make sense to me. Our county commissioners are, are our elected, official, elected officials to look out for us. And that's why I'd like to gab with them. Just to be sure, uh, by many accounts, I think we've paid $3 million for this process. Is that what the taxpayers bill somewhere in there? I don't have the exact yeah, that's number. What that's number told. I've I know yep. a different number that I was told. But, Higher you or know, lower? Higher. Higher. And that bill is not due, the, the final payment is not due until March 2016. So all these little extras are getting added in there as well. And we're paying for the mall space. The county is paying to rent that space at the mall. The county paid to rent the space, their office space above Michael B's shoes. That's not included. EST isn't paying that. We're paying for that. Some people don't know that. EST is the company that did the reassessment. Right. Uh, so do we if they decide to rescind this thing and start again do we lose the money is there any legal recourse against est and would we have to pay for another reassessment i believe there is re legal recourse i know as a group we have legal recourse and we're going to exercise that very soon i do believe the commissioners do have legal recourse against est for some of the fraudulent activities that have gone on within this reassessment and within the, the appeals process as well you know what I find the most disheartening is it's people, good people from our community. We've got a great county here, but people against people now. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just a big stain on yeah. our county, uh, what is going on, whichever side of the fence you're on, let's face right. it, you know, whichever way it is. It's just a lot of things happening, and, uh, you know, we, we take a lot of pride in our community, but there's a lot of unfairness, and there are so many unhappy people. I think people are physically getting ill over this. Mm -hmm. They yeah. are. They are. Physically who? getting I know ill. I am. Who, in my opinion, during a reassessment, who says taxes must go down, be reduced? No one, to mm -hmm. be honest with you. If the taxes remain status quo and what they are right now, the people that have a proposal that their taxes will go down, they'll be talking with me, I'm sure. But none of them were at the courthouse complaining about their taxes last year. That's right. If we stay status quo, we were all happy, we budgeted our money, we live our lives with that number. Now that number has changed drastically, and that's the problem here. All right? if this, if the, that is another one of the primary objectives of this county. Incoming taxes must stay status quo, cost neutral. If they remain the same, that's easy mm -hmm. for the next year. You go from there, you're changing their millage down to what they want, it can start climbing as of the year 2017. They'll start using millage on the new proposed fair assessment values of our farms, which I'm proposing. Well, I wish you luck with that. Thank I you. would, I'd like to think that our commissioners would say, Mike, I'd like to talk to you. Thank you very much. I, I would like to think that they would do that. I hope so. <laughs> you know, we, we have good people in the community. We've got some brains in this community, and mm -hmm. this, this has to be solved locally and uh, but what a mess for six weeks, six, seven weeks. Yes, Tammy, sir. you've lived it. <laughs> you <laughs> betcha. More, more than you care to admit. A lot of lost sleep, a lot of lost meals, a lot yeah. of lost, um, <laughs> out of touch with my family and yeah. friends and everything else. But yeah. I've made a great group of friends with this group, too. Wonderful people. Absolutely wonderful people and with such compassion and passion 
for Indiana County. Absolutely. We want to see Indiana County stay here. We want people to stay here. We want it to grow. We want to bring industry back. It's not going to happen. Not with this. Not the way it is. All right, so the next step, uh, well, for one, 6 p.m. at the KCAC on Thursday. You need a big crowd to really we show support. You need a big crowd. I'll be there. You need a two. <laughs> I know that. He's, he's always there. <laughs> but you, you, you need a big crowd to really show that, hey, there are a lot of people are affected by this right. and uh, the show of support. And that's after work hours. Yep. So this is kind of a barometer of where you are with this thing. So that's, right. that's at the KCAC. There's a lot of parking. That's right. Be no Cross problem the street whatsoever. of Bilo Lodge. Six o'clock. Yep. Uh, I, I think we're going to see a lot of the farmers and the large landowners at this one, which is great because we need them to be seen and heard as well because they are going to lose their land if this goes through. The group is Indiana County PA against tax reassessment increases. Could have been shorter, but that's a heck of a term. Uh, <laughs> and you can uh, put that on Facebook and uh, kind of read along with some of that. Tammy Graham Curry started all of this and is fighting the good fight. Mike sees from Buffington Township proposal. And we call on the commissioners to talk to Mike. We hope that they will do that. Thanks, folks, for coming Thank in. Thank you, Bill. And Thank uh, you. we do appreciate your efforts on behalf of Indiana County.